Hi, my name's Ewan and I play Rob in the threesome. Okay, fantastic. So tell us a bit about Rob. Well, Rob is from Essex. He's a bit of a jack the lad, a bit of a womanizer, quite immature. Um, kind of over the course of threesome, he matures. He learns things about himself. He learns things about other people. He's quite, I think he's been quite a deceiving person growing up, you know, lying to women, lying about relationships and it sort of kind of comes back and bites him and he's the one that has to kind of deal with things, the secrets that have been kept by okay. other people and yeah, it's kind of a, it's a kind of a tale of Rob growing up. Okay, and uh, what relationship <laughs> does Rob bear to you and... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know, um, quite a lot maybe, uh, there's, there's definitely elements there, um, maybe not the womanizing, but um, yeah, no, I, I think he, he is like the quintessential young man who's coming up to 30 but still acts as if he's 16, um, I think that's our generation that are like that, so I, I, I related to a lot of it, I related to the immaturity of him, and um, yeah, I would say that maybe it's not very good for me, but yeah, yeah, the immaturity of it. <clears throat> so tell me, how did you start work on Threesome? Where did you, where did it all come oh, from? I was actually living in Scotland when um, the casting was being done and a very good friend of mine put me forward, um, put my name to them, uh, Capital City, to LSR and Lisa, and I wrote to them, uh, expressing my interest in it. They sent the whole script which nobody ever does. It's always normally just a segment. Um, I got the whole script and reading that made me realize how much I wanted to do it. So I had about three, four days to practice, to kind of rehearse, come up with a character that I felt comfortable with and then went back to London and obviously, uh, yeah, auditioned and they were, they were happy with me. So yeah, it was a nice day. Cool. So, how have you found the process of filming threesome, shooting threesome? Is it is it is it like films and web series and series and stuff you've done in the past, or is there something else about it? What what what's it like for you? I think um, what what's been really good is is that there's there's people on the crew that have got years of experience, and there's young people that have got all the talent, but maybe not necessarily the experience. Um, so their enthusiasm is awesome. Um, Everything's done with a real energy, um, a good pace. You're never, you're never sitting about waiting for something to happen, really, any more than you would be on any other set. But I think um, we've got a, a young crew of, of really good people, um, really talented people, and <clears throat> that would be the one thing I, I would say that it's been a pleasure working with such an interesting bunch of people. And I think Peter had said earlier, everyone gets on, and it's, it's kind of one of those cliched things but it's true yeah everyone does okay so t tell me a bit maybe about the difference between working on the stage play and working yeah. on the web series well I think with the, the stage play there was only um, really ever four of us involved um, myself Peter Lisa and Paul Linghorn the director so all our direct all our uh, rehearsals were based around the four of us um, and then it was taking something and putting it out there Whereas, I suppose with the filming, when you're in a room of 10, 12 people, um, you're, you're kind of you're gauging already if things are good. Everybody's uh, you know, got an opinion. If something's not working, and then we try it again, and you go over it. Whereas, I suppose with the theatre, it was, you know, you, you've, got, you've got your ideas and stuff, but when you, you're on stage, you're experimenting not quite so much, because you're a little bit more in what you know what you have to do kind of territory but at the same time it never works out like that there's always something that changes up in the play and you have to kind of adapt to it there and then so um, I, I would say the, the difference is is that um, you, you can experiment a little bit more with the filming where, whereas with the theatre you have to wait a, a night and go back to it with a, that kind of stress whereas you can do it immediately correct something but if you're not happy with the theatre, you have to wait a night and go and do it all again. Okay. Um, have you got a favourite episode by any chance? Um, no, not really. I, I, I like, I kind of watch the whole thing in one big go. Um, I, I like it watching the whole thing continuously because I think it's one of those sort of stories. 
you can just keep watching the whole way through. Okay, so you, um, would you be interested in seeing a feature film of Threesome? You never know. Yeah, maybe. I, 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 I would be interested, but maybe for more selfish reasons than just watching it. Um, getting to, to do that part would be amazing. Um, but, yeah, I don't, th I don't think there's any reason for it not to be. I think when, when I got the script, I thought it was a, a kind of 40 minute, 45 minute short. Um, it was only when we got talking that this is where it's going to break and this is where the next episode's going to start. But I, I kind of feel that it's one continuous thing. But I, I like the first one. I like the, the second episode. The second episode and the last episode are both ones that I, I enjoy, if I had to answer.